Welcome back to TechWolf. In this video, I'm going to cover 40 CompTIA A plus questions. And some of them I will be taking from official CompTIA website. So as other questions will be from real exams of CompTIA A plus. And these are questions from all previous CompTIA A plus exams. So if you will find this video useful, leave a like, share this video and subscribe to the channel for next upcoming videos as I will be covering many more topics about CompTIA certifications like in networking, security and many others in my future videos. So no further ado and let's get into it. And first question is which of the following symptoms is most likely a sign of ransomware? A large number of ads appear, files on devices are inaccessible, internet connectivity is lost or battery life is reduced. Here the correct answer is files on devices are inaccessible. And next question is a technician has been directed to dispose a hard drives from company laptops properly. Company standards require the use of high powered men to destroy data on the commissioned hard drives. Which of the following data destruction methods should the technician choose? Shredding, incinerating, drilling or the gazing? And the, here the correct answer is the gazing. A user reports being unable to access the internet or use wireless headphones on a mobile device. A technician confirms the headphones properly connect to another device. Which of the following should the technician do to solve this issue? Connect to a different service set identifier. Disable near field communication. Turn off airplane mode or test the battery on the device. And here the correct answer is turn off the airplane mode. A sales staff member recently left a laptop at a hotel and needs a new one immediately. After remotely wiping the old laptop, a support technician prepares to take new laptop out of inventory to begin the deployment process. Which of the following should the technician do first? Document the serial numbers and usernames for asset management. Recycle all the cardboard and other shipping materials appropriately. Call the hotel and demand old laptop to be sent back to the repair depot. Confirm shipping address for new laptop with the sales staff member. And here the correct answer is document the serial numbers and usernames for asset management. A technician is installing M.2 devices in several workstations. Which of the following would be required when installing the devices? Electrostatic discharge straps, ergonomic floor mats, air filtration, or heat resistant gloves. And the correct answer here is electrostatic discharge straps. And next question, a user Windows desktop continuously crashes during boot. A technician runs the following command in safe mode and then reboots the desktop. The user's profile is damaged. The system files are corrupted. The hard drive needs to be defragmented. Or the system needs to have a restore performed. And correct answer here is the system files are corrupted. And next question, a user calls the IT help desk and explains that all the data on the user's computer is encrypted. The user also indicates that the pop-up message on the screen is asking for payment in bitcoins to unlock the encrypted data. The user's computer is most likely infected with which of the following? Spyware botnet, rootkit or ransomware? And the correct answer here is ransomware. A network engineer needs to update a network firewall which will cause a temporary outage. The network engineer submits a change request form and performs the required maintenance. If the firewall update fails, which of the following is the next step? Acquire end user acceptance, perform risk analysis, request a change approval or execute a backout plan. And the correct answer here is execute a backout plan. Which of the following workstation operating systems use NTFS for the standard file system type? Mac OS, Windows, Linux, or Chrome operating system? And the correct answer here is Windows. 
Which of the following Linux commands will display a directory of files? ls, chown, chmod or cls? And here correct answer is ls command. A technician arrives on site to find that two users who have the same model of Android smartphone are having the same issue with a specific application. Whenever they attempt to launch the application, it fails and gives an error message. Which of the following should the technician do first? Update the operating system of the smartphones. Clear the application cache. Reinstall the application. Roll back the application to the earlier version. Here the correct answer is update the operating system of the smartphones. A technician is working on Windows 10 PC that is running slowly. Which of the following commands should the technician use to correct this issue? And here we need to choose two answers. And here the correct two answers is DISM and CHECK DISK. As CHECK DISK, this command checks the file system and file system metadata of volume for logical and physical errors. It can help fix issues that might be causing the PC to run slowly. And DISM, the deployment image service and management tool, can be used to repair and prepare Windows images, including the Windows Recovery Environment, Windows Setup and Windows PE. It can help resolve system corruption that might be affecting performance. An administrator is setting up Windows Terminal Server. Which of the following settings should the administrator modify to increase server security? And here also we need to check two correct answers. Enforce the password complexity. Use the local client certificate for server authentication. Change the default access port. Put the terminal server into the router's DMZ. Disable logon time restrictions or block all unsupported ports on the local area network or LAN smart switch? And the correct answer here is Enforce password complexity and change the default access port. Change the default access port, changing the default port, usually 3389 for RDP or remote desktop protocol, makes it harder for attackers to find and exploit the terminal server and enforce the password complexity, ensuring strong complex passwords reduce the risk of unauthorized access through brute force attacks. A company has hired a new IT firm to manage its network switches and routers. The firm is geographically separated from the company and will need to be able to securely access these devices. Which of the following will provide the ability to access these devices? Telnet, RDP, VNC or SSH? And here the correct answer is SSH, Secure Shell. A small office's wireless network was compromised recently by an attacker who brute forced a pin to gain access. The attackers then modified the DNS settings on the router and spread malware on the entire network. Which of the following configurations most likely allowed the attack to take place? And here also we'll need to choose two options. Guest network, default login, WPS, outdated firmware, TKIP or WEP. And here correct answers are default login and WPS. Default login, using default login credentials makes it easy for attackers to gain access to the router's settings. And WPS, Wi-Fi protected setup or WPS is vulnerable to brute force attacks allowing attackers to easily gain access to the network. A client wants a technician to create a PC naming convention that will make the client's PC easier to track and identify while in use. Which of the following naming conventions formats should the technician follow? Domain name location, IP address, domain name location asset ID, asset ID, MAC address or location RFID. And here the correct answer is domain name location asset ID. As this format includes the domain name which helps identify the network the PC belongs to, the location for physical tracking 
and the asset ID for unique identification. This combination makes it easier to manage and track PCs within an organization. And question number 17, which of the following provides the best security for the server room? And here we also need to check two. Cable lock, privacy window shades, badge reader, bollard, USB token or biometric lock. And here the correct answers are badge reader and biometric lock. As badge reader this allows only authorized personnel to access the server room by scanning their ID badges ensuring controlled entry. And biometric lock, this provides an additional layer of security by requiring a unique biological trial like a fingerprint or a retina scan for access making it very difficult for unauthorized individuals to gain entry. Which of the following threats uses personalized information in an attempt at obtaining information? Spoofing, spear phishing, impersonation or whaling? And here correct answer is spear phishing. As spear phishing is a target attempt to steal sensitive information such as account credentials or financial information from a specific individual, often using personalized information to make the attack more convincing. This differs from general phishing which targets a broader audience. A technician receives an invalid certificate error when visiting website with port 443 enabled. Other computers on the same LAN do not exhibit this symptom. Which of the following needs to be adjusted to fix the issue? User access control, UEFI boot mode, date and time, or logon times? And here the correct answer is date and time. As SSL certificates rely on the correct date and time settings to validate their authenticity. If the date and time on the workstation are incorrect, it can cause certificate errors when accessing website over HTTPS port 443 or 443. Which of the following is the amount of memory a user is limited with a 32-bit version of Windows? 16 GB, 4 GB, 8GB or 2GB? And here the correct answer is 4GB. As 4GB, a 32-bit version of Windows can address a maximum of 4GB of RAM. This limitation is due to the way 32-bit system allocate memory addresses. A technician is working at the help desk firm and receives a call from a user who has experienced repeated BSODS. The technician is scheduled to take a break just after the call comes in. Which of the following is the best choice for the technician to make? Troubleshoot the issue for the user. Ask another technician to take the call. Politely ask the user to call back. Put the user on hold and troubleshoot after the scheduled break. Input the issue as a ticket and escalate to tier 2. And the correct answer here is ask another technician to take the call. The best choice for the technician in this scenario is ask another technician to take the call. This ensures that the user's issue is addressed promptly without delay, which is crucial for resolving repeated BSODS or blue screen of death that can significantly disrupt the user's work. It also allows the technician to take their scheduled break without compromising the quality of support provided to the user. A user's phone contains customer's PII. The user can have the phone automatically wiped because the data is very valuable. Which of the following is the best method of securing the phone? Pin lock, fingerprint lock, passcode lock or swipe lock? And correct answer here is fingerprint lock. The best method for securing the phone in this scenario is a fingerprint lock. Fingerprint locks provide a high level of security because they are unique to the individual and difficult to replicate. This method ensures that only the authorized user can access the phone 
protecting the valuable customer PII or personally identifiable information. Which of the following devices are most likely to have a grounding wire attached to them based on the manufacturer's design? And choose two. Desktop printer, patch panel, server rack, PoE phone, UPS or modem. And here the correct answer is server rack and UPS. UPS and server rack, these devices typically require grounding to ensure safety and proper operation. Grounding helps protect against electrical faults and reduces the risk of electricity shock or damage to the equipment. A technician has just finished installing a secondary operating system on a workstation. After rebooting the computer, the technician receives the following error. No OS found. The technician confirms the boot.ini file is correct. Which of the following is the most likely causing this error? The computer has Grub legacy installed. Windows startup services are not running. An unsupported version of Windows is installed and an incompatible partition is marked as active. And the correct answer here is an un incompatible partition is marked as active. This issue can occur if the partition that is set as active is not the one containing the bootable operating system, leading to the system being unable to find the operating system during startup. A technician is installing a private PC in a public workspace. Which of the following password practices should the technician implement on the PC to secure network access? Remove the guest account from the administrator's group. Require authentication on wake up. Disable single sign-on. Issue a default strong password for all users. And here the correct answer is require authentication on wake up. The best practice for securing network access in this scenario is require authentication on wake up. This ensures that the PC is protected when it wakes from sleep or hibernation preventing unauthorized access. Joey, an employee, took a company issued Windows laptop home, but he is having trouble connecting to any of the shared hosts on his home media server. Joey has verified he is connected to the internet, which of the following would explain why Joey cannot access his personal shares. An IP conflict is present, a firewall exception must be set, a corporate VPN is enabled, a home group must be enabled. And here the correct answer is a corporate VPN is enabled. The most likely reason Joey cannot access his personal shares is that a corporate VPN is enabled. When a corporate VPN is active, it can route all network traffic through the corporate network, which might block access to a local network resources like Joey's home media server. A user believes there is a virus on a laptop. The user installs additional real-time protection antivirus software but is now experiencing extremely slow performance on the laptop. Which of the following should the technician do to resolve the issue and avoid recurrence? Uninstall one antivirus software program and install a different one. Run OS updates. Remove the user installed antivirus software. Enable the quarantine feature on both antivirus software programs. Activate real-time protection on both antivirus software programs. And here the correct answer is remove the user installed antivirus software. As the best course of action is to remove the user installed antivirus software. Running multiple real-time protection antivirus programs simultaneously can cause significant performance issues due to resource conflicts and high memory usage. A user who is running Windows XP calls a technician to upgrade the computer to a newer Windows operating system. The user states that the computer computer has only 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of hard drive space with 1.7 GHz processor. Which of the following operating systems should a technician recommend to ensure the best performance on this computer? Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8 or Windows 7? And the correct answer here is Windows 7. 
as given the hardware specifications 1 GB of RAM, 16 GB of hard drive space and 1.7 GHz processor, the best option for ensuring optimal performance would be Windows 7, as Windows 7 requires at least 1 GB of RAM, 16 GB of hard drive space and 1 GHz processor, making it more likely to run smoothly on older hardware. And next question 29, Joy, a customer has informed a tier 2 help desk technician that a computer will not boot up. After about 10 minutes of troubleshooting, Joy is increasingly concerned and claims that the technician is wasting his time because he has already tried everything that has been suggested. Which of the following should the technician do? Record the call and send it to the local internet for future technicians to learn how to deal with calls like this one. Ask more open-ended questions to see if the issue can be narrowed down in order to properly identify the issue and save time. Since Joy is concerned about time, suggest calling back later when Joy has more time to troubleshoot. Inform the customer that there is a troubleshooting script that must be followed to get the issue resolved. And here the correct answer is that you should ask more open questions to see if the issue can be narrowed down in order to properly identify the issue and save time. Which of the following security methods best describe when a user enters a username and password once for multiple applications? SSO Permission Propagation MFA or Inheritance and here the correct answer is SSO. The security method that best describes when a user enters a username and password once for multiple applications is SSO, single sign on. SSO allows user to log in once and gain access to multiple applications without needing to re-enter their credentials for each application. A technician is setting up a kiosk. The technician needs to ensure the kiosk is secured and users will have access to only the application needed for a customer interaction. A technician must also ensure that whenever the computer is rebooted or powered on, it logs in automatically without a password. Which of the following account types would the technician most likely set up on this kiosk machine? Administrator, a remote desktop user, power user, or guest? And the correct answer here is guest. The count time that a technician would most likely set up on the kiosk machine is a guest. A guest account is typically used for situations like kiosks where you want to provide limited access to specific applications and ensure security. Additionally, it can be configured to log in automatically without requiring a password, which is ideal for kiosk setup. A technician has been asked to recommend antivirus software for a home PC, but the user doesn't want to pay for a license. Which of the following license types should the technician recommend? Personal license, open license, corporate license or enterprise license? And here the correct answer is open license. As an open license typically refers to software that is freely available for use, often including free antivirus solutions, this would be suitable for a user who does not want to pay for a license. A Joey, a system administrator, is setting up a risk management plan for the IT department. Part of the plan is to take daily backups for all servers. These server backups will be saved locally to NAS. Which of the following can Joy do to ensure the backups will work if needed? Set up alerts to let administrators know when backups fail. Store copies of the backups off-site in a secure data center. Frequently restore the servers from backup files and test them. Set up scripts that automatically run failed backup jobs. Or configure the backups to restore the two virtual machines for quickly recovery. And here the correct answer is frequently restore the servers from backup files and test them. And next question, a Soho or small office home office customer has recently experienced a major hurricane. 
The customer has no backups and has lost all data and hardware associated with the company. The customer calls the contractor to assist in the rebuilding process and needs suggestions on the best way to prevent this from happening again. Which of the following recommendations should the contractor give to the customer? Choose two options. Local storage backups, cloud storage, waterproof devices, data recovery, backup testing or hot site. And here the correct answers is cloud storage and hot site. As cloud storage, storing data in the cloud ensures that it is safe from physical damage caused by the natural disasters. Cloud storage provides off-site backups, which are crucial for data recovery in such events. And hot site, a hot site is fully operational off-site data center that can take over operation almost immediately after disaster. This ensures minimal downtime and continuity of business operations. A technician is running updates on Windows PC. Some of the updates install properly while others appear as failed. While troubleshooting the technician restarts the PC and attempts to install the failed updates again. The updates continue to fail. Which of the following is the first option to check? Look at the system event viewer to find more information on the failure. Visit the Microsoft update website to see if there is an issue with a specific update. Download the failed update to install manually. Look up the error number associated with the failed update. Here the correct answer is look at the system event viewer to find more information on the failure. As the event viewer can provide detailed logs and error messages that can help identify the root cause of the update failures. This information is crucial for effective troubleshooting and can guide the technician on the next steps to take. A technician needs to edit protected.dll file but cannot find the file in the system32 directory. Which of the following control panel utilities should the technician use? Folder options, display, system or indexing options? And here the correct answer is folder options. By accessing folder options, the technician can enable the visibility of hidden files and protected operating system files, which might be why the .dll file is not visible in the system32 directory. A technician has identified malware on the user's system. Which of the following should the technician do next according to malware removal best practices? Move the infected system to a lab with no network connectivity. Educate the user about how to avoid malware in the future. Enable system restore and create restore points so no data is lost. Or update the antivirus software and run full system scan. And here the correct answer is move the infected system to lab with no network connectivity. As isolating the infected system prevents the malware from spreading to other devices on the network. Once isolated, the technician can proceed with further steps like updating antivirus software and running full system scan. Question 38. A user Windows laptop has become consistently slower over time. A technician checks the CPU utilization and sees that it is varies between 95% and 100%. After the technician closes some running applications, the CPU utilization drops to approximately 20%, and the laptop runs much faster. The next day, the same user calls again with the same problem. Which of the following is a tool the technician can use to resolve the issue? msconfig, perfmon, task manager, or mstsc? And here the correct answer is PERFMON. PERFORM can help identify which processes or applications are causing the high CPU usage over time. By setting up performance counters and monitoring the system, the technician can pinpoint the root cause of the issue and take appropriate action to resolve it. A user is requesting a solution that will prevent file corruption and ensure the graceful shutdown while providing at least one hour of uptime in case of extreme weather conditions. Which of the following should the technician recommend? Surge protector, 
Power Disruption Unit, Uninterruptible Power Supply or Power Strip. And here the correct answer is Uninterruptible Power Supply. The best option to prevent file corruption, ensure a graceful shutdown and provide at least one hour of uptime during extreme weather conditions is an interruptible power supply. And question number 40, last question, which of the following installation types would require use of an answer file to install the operating system? Clean, upgrade, unattended or repair? And here the correct answer is unattended. The installation type that requires the use of an answer file to install the operating system is unattended. An answer file automates the installation process by providing all necessary configuration settings allowing the operating system to be installed without user intervention. So yes guys, here you go, 40 questions for Core 2 for CompTIA Plus exam and if you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel, if you have any questions leave them in comments and see you in the next one.